Hello and welcome to the final of the Visa International Invitational Tournament between Argentina and Great Britain. The Argentines just going through their final preparations with coach Carlos Retigui. A laugh and a smile. And there is the team absent as she has been all week, Luciana Aymar, the Maradona of field hockey. She's managing her workload in the build-up to the Olympics. And in her absence, goals have been a real problem this tournament for Argentina. Just the three on the opening day of the tournament. Great Britain, well, their defence has been what has led them through the tournament so far to this point. No goals conceded in the three group games. Beth Story in the net leading the way as well as a couple of experienced candidates at the back, likes of Kate Walsh and Krista Cullen. The team's about to be led out onto the pitch here at the Riverbank Arena. A small taste of what it will be like in a few months' time at the Olympic Games. Kate Walsh leads out Great Britain and leading out Argentina, Carla Revici. Crowd full of excitement. And full being the word, that far stand, barely an empty seat. Excited in anticipation of what should be Real high quality game between the fourth and second ranked teams in the world. The last time these two met was only a few days ago, of course, in the pool stage where Great Britain were victorious 2 0. Before that, they met in the final of the Champions Trophy where Argentina were victorious 1 0. That was in front of 16,000 Argentinian supporters. Slightly different circumstances today, but with the Olympics only a few months away and selection imminent for that squad, it's a fantastic opportunity for those players out there to make a mark and make their final statement to the selectors in preparation for the summer's games. We are underway. Argentina in the blue and white stripes attacking from left to right. Great Britain in an all red strip attacking from right to left. Twig in the hunt early as Great Britain to try and break up this free flowing Argentinian attack. See Krista Cullen as well in and amongst us. She always is a Leicester player. Out for her, number five, in the heart of the Great Britain defence. Argentina able to hold on to possession for now, as I mentioned, at a constant duress from Great Britain players. And eventually, they turn it over Laura Bartlett, winning the ball back in midfield for Great Britain. On the home side. We'll have the ball for the first time. Kay Walsh launches one of her trademark aerials downfield. Well cut out. Rodriguez Perez leaves the ball and moves up the field. I'll try and get the end of this hit forward. Bartlett turns over again. And here is Krista Cullen carrying forward, opening up play. Laura Unsworth. Enough for a player. Forward to Nicola White. Nice hands from White. Chance maybe for Great Britain early on. The crowd raise their voices and applaud the good work from the Great British women. Sarah Thomas down the right side. Trying to work some space on the backhand. Plays it straight into the foot of Suruga. And the Argentines able to win it back. Good start from Great Britain. 
Two minutes gone. And on the front foot. Platform for their success built. For a resilient defence. That could be a real problem for Argentina who struggled to find goals on this trip to London. Three in the opening game against China. That's a beautiful ball forward. Lovely work from Argentina. Build up play into the 25. Just about broken down by Bartlett. And Great Britain can bring it away through Georgie Twig. Youngest player in the Great Britain side. Tender age of 21. Here is Twig. Down the left for Great Britain. Well back. Defending as Rodriguez Perez. Danson. Great Britain's experience. Centre forward. She'll lead the line today as Cullen's bobbly pass to Unsworth can't be brought under control. Yes, watch out for Alex Danson. Up top for Great Britain. Number 15. Two goals so far in this invitational tournament. One of them in the group game against the side they're playing today, Argentina. Cullen. Couldn't let that ball roll out the back, so takes it. Lays it off to Unsworth. He just powers it forward straight back to Argentina. Lovely pass forward. And it's the Argentina captain, Carla Rebecci. Good work by Emily Maguire. In defence for Great Britain. Bartlett, good strong carry. And she's still going, Bartlett. Don't quite understand how she hasn't won a free hit. Play on, says the umpire, and we do play on here. Soroga. Down the right. One of two sisters in this Argentine side. Beth Story is able to leave that ball hit from outside the D. Another Kate Walsh aerial into space. Her and Krista Cullen will look to launch those forwards. A real asset for Great Britain having those two at the back. Alex Danson rides a really heavy challenge. No card awarded. Play on, say the umpires. Unsworth raking ball forward. Just can't be brought under control by Sally Walton. Danson applying the pressure in the forward line. Pressure, sorry, it's Hannah McLeod. Up top for Great Britain now, Krista Cullen. Out to Richardson. Two experienced British players linking up there. McLeod trying to turn over the ball. Argentina find it in the back corner of their half and under pressure from McLeod. I think she's done really well, Hannah McLeod, to keep the ball. It's Richardson actually into the D. Wins the long corner. Argentina lucky not to give away. More there as they were desperate to get their feet out of the way of Richardson. Danson. Rolling into midfield and under pressure. Lovely work, Alex Danson. Met with great appreciation from this crowd. Unsworth. Thought she'd won the corner, definitely put it onto the Argentine foot. They're outside the D. They've only been outside by centimetres. Can Great Britain make the most of this good period of pressure? Hello, Rebecci. Heavy challenge on Bartlett. Argentina do weather the storm. Band here in the River Bank Arena in good spirits and good volume. It looks like we're going to have the first card of the game. It's going to go to a Great Britain player. 
It is Barlow who makes her way from the pitch. For Great Britain for the time being. So he has a numerical disadvantage. Can Argentina make the most of it? Great Britain drop deep. Now they are playing down. Argentina just try and smash it into the dangerous area. Too dangerous, say the umpires. And Kate Walsh brings the ball clear for her side. Inspirational leader, Kate Walsh, made her debut back in 1999. Fearless at the back, and that pairing of her and Krista Cullen. Surely what will put Great Britain in such a good position going into the games this summer. Lovely work down the left-hand side by Argentina, trying to open up Great Britain, and it has opened up now for the Argentines. Delfina Marino has won the corner. Up against Emily Maguire. And the space really evident there. The lack of Laura Bartlett. In the Great British defence. Meaning that the space opened up for Argentina to exploit. Now a chance for them from this penalty corner. Empire just telling the Great Britain women to hurry up and get in position. It's out to the top. Drag flick goalwards. It's really good number one running. Emily Maguire making up for conceding the penalty corner. She has given away another one in the process, hitting a, I believe a shin pad as she ran out. But best story in the Great Britain net will just be letting her know that is fine by me. Do your job, run that line, protect this goal as much as possible. Just don't let it past you. And she do it again. Just a little layoff and a slip left. Worked by Argentina. Oh, and what a chance that was. Helen Richardson doing her defensive duties. It was a great attacking opportunity for the side who haven't scored, as I said, since the opening day of the tournament. The final shot wasn't quite what Argentina needed. Helen Richardson able to do her job. And the Great Britain defence once more holds strong. Krista Cullen surveying her options forward. Let's go back and across to Kate Walsh. Heavy touch by Helen Richardson. Keeps hold of possession. Going backwards at the moment, Great Britain and Krista Cullen. The only really option was to throw it forward. Now to play though, and Argentina well, they had a chance to keep hold of the ball. And Helen Richardson down this left hand side, getting the ball back to Great Britain and finding a foot as well as a heavy challenge. The Argentine player is carded. Here is Danson speeding forward. Lovely hit out wide. Chloe Rogers. Took a touch off the Argentina player. Danson really looking like a spark up front early on. Over 170 caps for the Great Britain forward. And now a chance for Great Britain. Nicola White can't get the shot away. Twig across. Sarah Thomas appeals and she doesn't get the decision. And the final decision making by Great Britain in the Argentina circle is a little bit missing there. Nicola White. Probably the best shooting opportunity. Couldn't bring the ball under her spell. Was unable to direct anything goalwards. And Sarah Thomas under pressure from the Argentina defender. Unable to make the most of well, Great Britain's best chance of the game so far. Two balls in the 
pitch. Makari. Back to Delea. Lovely work. This by Argentina to create some space down the right hand side. It is Makari. Defense. Again by Great Britain. They defend the circle so well. The Great Britain women. As I say that, they allow the Argentina players to waltz through. Krista Cullen stays down. I think maybe appealing to the umpire to say it struck her foot. The crowd. Oh, they look a little bit concerned, don't they? Been in good voice all week and in this final. They see Great Britain currently on the back foot. As I was saying, the circle defence has been so good since really that Beijing Olympics where they focused on being robust at the back. Bringing back Krista Cullen, just for that sort of job. And she finds herself inside the goal and ready to defend an Argentina penalty corner. Argentina electing to go with two castles at the top. Another slip left, trying to work some space for a deflection. Argentina felt like that was played deliberately off the back line. I must say, the Great Britain player runs away rather sheepishly. I'm happy to concede only the long corner. Great Britain. Penalty corner defence stays firm. Someone bobbled in and brought under control by Natalie Seymour. She certainly has the greatest amount of personal fans in the stadium. She wearing some personalised Seymour shirts. Nicola White just lays it off and gets ahead. Danson taking over the ball from Chloe Rogers. Danson powering forward, Twig into the D again, it just can't fall for Nicola White inside the circle, she's doing her best to win the ball back for her side. Lovely work down the right hand side by Great Britain first, who was White laying it off to Rogers, then Rogers back to Danson, this enabled those two players to bust a gut to get ahead of Danson, and Danson had the space to carry with options ahead of her. Lovely flowing move from Great Britain. Hensworth. Slide slap of hers from that right half position. Watch out for that today. Great distribution of the ball, one of many on the Great Britain side. Clip hit forward. Mr. Cullen covering across and cutting down the Argentina forward. Sofia Macari feeling the wrath of Krista Cullen. Unsworth. Well across. A bit of work to do here, Laura Unsworth. Retreating back into her corner. Clip hitting it forward. She's done pretty well there, Unsworth, though the ball. Falls back to Argentina. Danson working hard, bring it under control. And twig forward to McLeod. And again, you see that drop pass enabling the British forwards to get ahead of the midfielders and ahead of the ball. Oh, Richardson. Laying it back to Cullen, whose pass isn't able to be brought under control by Kate Walsh. See the cool collectedness of Krista Cullen there, just watching the ball fall down onto her stick. That's the experience and calmness that she brings to this Great Britain side. The intangibles almost cannot be measured. I must say, this Great British team are full of those characters with intangible skills. Attributes such as courage, bravery, composure. Can't really be measured by stats and statistics. Facts and statistics, I should say. So 
Davina Delea. This is a rather slow pass over to the left hand side, enabling Rogers to apply some pressure. Another flip hit across. Doesn't find an Argentina player, and Krista Cullen again launches the ball into the London sky. Lacking some direction though. Dancing has won about Great Britain. This is where Alex Dancing is so dangerous. She's got the ball bobbling in the air, drawing the heavy foul. Limps away, though I think she will be fine. Alex Danson happy with herself for winning the corner, despite the grimace on her face. I'm sure she's very glad. There is the band at the top of the stand here at the Riverbank Arena. The drummer, the tuba player, trumpeter. Okay. Tune in in celebration of this great, great Britain Corner Award. Dancing still showing some of the repercussions of that challenge on her. I just run it off on the spot. I think she'll be okay. Not one to give up lightly. Two castles for Great Britain at the top of the circle. Unsworth, I think White, the two trappers. Walsh. Seems most keen to take this one on, and it will be Walsh. Unz with the trap. Walsh goalwards and off the line. Richardson trying to get it back into a danger zone. Unsworth blazes it over the bar. We've seen Great Britain survive a couple of penalty corner scares. This time it was for them to take the attack to Argentina. First, Walsh's flick cleared off the line, and then Unsworth shot. Smashed over the bar, almost took the head of Alex Danson on the way through. Fell so nicely for the Loughborough player. She always caught it too nicely for Runsworth. Best chance of the afternoon for Great Britain there. Fell to their right half. Maybe not the player they'd have wanted. Shot to fall to. I must say, she hit it well, didn't she? Dancing with the pressure. Bouncing ball falls. To Targo Dupoy. Pressure from McLeod now. See the Great Britain forward so keen to get out and harass the Argentina defenders as much as possible. The pressure on them. Try and get them to turn the ball over high off the pitch. And if that doesn't work, then hopefully the pressure applied will result in a misplaced pass. Great Britain can regain possession further inside their own territory. We're still with Argentina at the moment. We haven't seen much of that. The Argentina silky smooth skills. Maybe a chance now. Sanchez Moshia. Into the D. This will open up for Argentina. The bouncing ball. Martina Cavallero. Couldn't get her shot away. Tried to hit the ball on the volley. Almost Laura Unsworth style, but this time on the reverse. And she hits any, nothing but air. Both teams have to create some really good opportunities. Unable to seize the moment and put their team in the lead. Space in midfield for Sarah Thomas. And space has been a plenty throughout the game. Both sides pretty lax in there, marking at the back. Walsh. Two Rogers and down the line. Leslie Seymour, finding yourself in an advanced position. Brave running from Nicola White, blocking that shot. Sorry, that hit forward. And as a result of that brave defending, Britain win the free hit. 
in Argentina territory. Rogers looking for the ball in. It's a wonderful save from Del Cole. Sliding in was Susie Gilbert. And the University of Birmingham woman managed to get a good connection on the deflection. And the Argentine goalkeeper was a match for it. Terrific ball in from Rogers. Fizzed in and Gilbert outstretched. Managed to get the faintest of touches. It was enough to direct it goalward. And Laura Del Cole. A wonderful outstretched save. Keep saying. And that's the best chance of the afternoon for both sides. They keep getting closer and closer. Surely only a matter of time until we have the opening goal. 22 minutes gone so far at the London Riverbank Arena. Turned over. No, free hit to the Argentine's dangerous ball. Susie Gilbert thought maybe she'd have another chance on goal. Going to be denied by the umpire's whistle. Same. 20 odd minutes gone in this final. Still goalless. And both sides creating a number of decent goal scoring opportunities. Unable to take them. That's a brilliant tackle by Natalie Seymour. Low flat shave tackle with a reverse stick. And she congratulated for that good piece of defending and rewarded. And a little trip to the bench. Well earned rest. So he doesn't get much rest. Here's Kate Walsh. 70 minute woman. Clash of heads. Twig. And I think. Soroga. Soroga has stayed down. The band stops playing. He wants to acknowledge this, what could be a serious situation. Seems like both players might be okay. Twig. Consoled by Krista Cullen. Soroga. Also looks like she's going to play on. That is fortunate. And there's clashing of the heads. It can be so dangerous and result in some really long lasting injuries though. It seems like both players are going to play on and the crowd the spattering of applause showing their appreciation for both players' resilience. Lovely defensive again by Emily Maguire. Though it's been turned back over by Argentina. Now with space to run. Marino forward. Brilliant defensive work by Walsh. And again gets a stick in. You see the facial expressions on Kate Walsh as he puts her face and her body, her stick into a really precarious position, doing what she must on her side. That is why she is the leader of this Great Britain side. Official captain, but also leader in so many other ways. Daniela Saruga seems to be okay after that collision with Twig. Argentina getting into their rhythm. Delfina Marino. Now come to nothing. Somewhat aimless, the ball into the D. Walsh. Slide slap forward to Danson. Danson gets that ball in the air and gets those legs stretching forwards. Twig seems to have brushed off that head collision earlier as well. Richardson wins sideline ball and plays it up to Twig. Lovely work by Twig to get into the D. Oh, she wins the free hit just outside. Lovely drop of the shoulder from Georgie Twig to open up the space. Richardson surveys her options forward. She's into the D now, Richardson. Go back for the advantage of the first challenge despite the protests of the Argentine defenders. But they will get the 16 in the end as Helen Richardson's skills are not quite there for her on this occasion. 
Brilliant step forward. They're under pressure. Maguire's been turned over. Lovely through the legs pass. And nice hands down the left hand side by Marino. Being at the heart of everything good for Argentina in the last few minutes. Trying to link up with her captor, captain, Barbara Rebecci. Those two real danger women. For Las Leonas. Great Britain surround the ball outside their D and not allowing it into their circle. The foot just outside. You see, they form a real physical barrier with Cullen and Walsh. And in those situations, happy to take the foot. Krista Cullen, the ball in this corner is not terribly dangerous for Great Britain. They've got numbers. There, Krista Cullen is one of them. And there, well dealt with by Twig, and Great Britain can bring it clear. That is really good defence. And that sort of thing goes unnoticed by so many. The ability of the Great Britain team to shut out Argentina from getting into their circle. The wall of Krista Cullen and Kate Walsh. Holding firm as they have done all tournament. Walsh thinks about going forward. Instead drops it back to Krista Cullen. Maguire, difficult ball to control on the left hand side. for her further forward. She's really trying to find them though. There's a deflected ball. <laughs> Cloud. Kind of a cloud, sorry. Absolutely adamant the ball came off the Argentina foot. Protesting to the umpires with a free hit. In the end, Great Britain get the sideline. Ball over on the far side. Underneath the grandstand. Gilbert. Nice initial work that she's outnumbered in that left hand corner by Argentina defenders. <laughs> Sofia Macari trying to work the space right in front of the benches. Mr. Cullen always in the right place at the right time. Great Britain number five, Nicola White. She loves running. Does White, real athlete, going forward for Great Britain. They're going to have to go back for now. Maguire across to Cullen. Yeah. Aerial ball forwards haven't I had the intended result. They are such an asset for Great Britain, a weapon that they can deploy at will. And he's slightly off target in the first half of this final. And it was that foot just outside Krista Cullen. Getting her positioning right. So important to get that detail correct. Defending outside the circle. Ball played in. And away. Repelled by Great Britain in a poor pass. Out to Daniela Soroga. Enables Great Britain to get the ball back into the last five minutes of the first half. Side still locked at nil all. Gilbert with the hit forward. It might just work out for Great Britain. Sarah Thomas trying to bring it under control and she plays it back to absolutely no one. The ball trickling through the circle. And there wasn't a Great Britain player there to stick it home. It looked like Sarah Thomas had lost control of the ball when she scooped it back. Towards the penalty spot. He's just crying out for a woman in red to come in and slam it into the unguarded net, though. On this occasion, 
one of those British strikers. They're not there, ready and waiting. Good chance again for Great Britain that goes amiss. Rodriguez Perez knocks it back. And play down the outside. Lovely first touch by Soruga. Sorry, Merino. She plays the ball in. And the foul by Rebecci. And it's a reprise. And Great Britain, Chris Cullen takes over the ball as Kate Walsh retreats back towards her own baseline. Cullen. Misguided pass, fortunately it doesn't cost Great Britain too dearly, though Argentina maybe with this opportunity forward. Marino can't bring it under control quite as nicely as she did a minute ago. If she had, yeah, straight route through to the Great Britain circle. Walsh using her body to protect the ball. The pressure as the clock ticks down towards the half hour mark. Danson doesn't need a second invitation to carry the ball forward. And she's given away possession and for the third time in the game. This umpire awards. One of the players on the pitch, a green card, Alex Danson, disappointed in herself for losing control of the ball, I think. The frustration got the better of her, she fouled the Argentina player. We'll have to sit out the rest of the half in the sin bin. Can Argentina, the world number two, make the most of this numerical advantage before the break? <laughs> Krista Cullen. Clever play, just knocking the ball away just after the whistle went. And with a look that wouldn't looked out of place on the West End. Playing up to the umpire. And breaking down the Argentina attack. Now, Great Britain with an attack of their own. Lovely ball into a dangerous area from Helen Richardson. There wasn't the sliding Susie Gilbert this time as she was earlier on in the half. She forced a great save out of Del Cole. Carlo Rebecci carry it forward. The two captains up against each other. Rebecci and Walsh. And Walsh and Great Britain come away unscathed. So a theme of this first half. Neither side's really Managing to find the desired outcomes in the final third. A good penetration up to the edge of the circles. And haven't really had a killer instinct in front of goal. And at the same time, the defence of both sides has stood resolute. Great Britain. Kate Walsh and Krista Cullen and Beth Story. And Argentina with Del Gole. Wonderful save from Susie Gilbert. Our clock has ticked past the 35, which indicates there won't be too long left. Is there enough seconds left for Hannah McLeod to work something for Great Britain down the right-hand side? McLeod against two Argentina defenders. It's away with the sideline ball. Emily Maguire. All through. And Henry Richardson knows there isn't a lot of time left. Sprinting out to the left hand side to get the ball back. Play the ball in. Dancing. Can she get a shot away? Two. One, say the crowd. And there is the Hooter half time. Nil all at the break in the final. The Visa International Invitational Tournament. The best chance of the half coming to Great Britain with the sliding Susie Gilbert. Denied. Waddell Gole. Just the start. That Great Britain will have wanted to the second half. A penalty corner. Cullen! Cullen! Krista Cullen! With a rocket 
that rings the backboard here in the Riverbank Arena. Hunsworth with the trap. Cullen Goldwoods. And Great Britain can celebrate. And boy, does she celebrate Krista Cullen. She really enjoyed that. As the stadium announcer yells out her name, the Riverbank Arena once more applauds. Mentioned it in the first half. Her abilities to flick the ball are such a weapon for Great Britain. As here come Argentina trying to strike back and they've struck the post. What a response that would have been from Argentina. And it's only the woodwork that keeps Great Britain in the lead. A momentary lapse in the concentration of the GB women. And still having to do a bit of defending, a foot just outside the D. Beth Story can only watch the ball. I think they want a corner actually, sorry. Penalty corner, Argentina. Beth Story can only watch the ball fly past her. And she heard the ring of the post. She could breathe a sigh of relief. And Argentina, just a couple of minutes after having gone behind, have a penalty corner of their own. Can they be as clinical as Krista Cullen was for Great Britain? Carla Rebecci looks like she is the most likely candidate. There's a poor trap on the top of the D. Good defence by Great Britain. They concede another penalty corner. I bet she might get another chance to sling this one goalwards. Right. Mass is correct. This is the fifth penalty corner for Argentina. Rebecchi takes a touch off the number one runner and goes behind for a long corner. It's Emily Maguire. Yeah, another penalty corner awarded. It seems to have struck her shoulder, and we will have it referred. Brilliant number one running again by Maguire. She charged one down in the first half. She got out again this time. Rebecchi's flick directed goalwards. And if it was the shoulder and above the knee, then I think we might see this decision overturned in favour of Great Britain. judged as dangerous if it strikes the number one runner above the knee. I think it was an umpire's referral. And Great Britain seem to think that the decision will go their way. They're tossing their protective gear behind the goal and setting up for a 16, Argentina. In stark contrast, think they're going to get the decision and the penalty corner re-awarded. They're staying at the top of the D. It will be a corner. Krista Cullen can't believe it. A few gasps from the crowd and from the bench just below us here on the gantry, it will be a penalty corner again. And Emily Maguire is going to have to charge out again. Oh, the Argentina knew something maybe the Great British didn't. Rebecchi, the Argentina captain, again at the top of the circle. They have looked to use routine, slips to the left. It looks like Rebecchi's going to go. Goalwards, it's hit the post again. I don't believe it. This time it's Carla Rebecchi's flick goalwards. And it's hit the same post in almost the exact same place. An Argentina shot struck just moments ago. Three minutes after going behind, Argentina have hit the post twice. Desperately unlucky. Las Leonas 
And Lionesses from Argentina. Great Britain's slender lead remains intact. I think they want another corner. No. The ball not judged to have gone five metres before entering the circle. Walsh. Forward to Danson. Can Great Britain get back on the front foot? They've got numbers forward. Plenty of them. Laura Bartlett still carrying the ball into the Argentina defender. She had options ahead of her if she wanted to use them. Elected to carry. And carried herself into trouble. Great Britain. Still yet to concede all tournament. And the post to thank on two occasions. Sparing them. They'll be really disappointed with themselves to concede so soon after taking the lead. Unsworth laying the ball forward to Danson. Danson barging over the Argentina defender. Still going, Alex Danson. Bouncing around the D, I think she's found her foot. Hannah McLeod was hovering. I thought she might get an opportunity to smash it goalwards. And the umpire's whistle brings playback for the penalty corner. Here we see on the big screen, Danson. She's just determined, isn't she, Alex Danson, to get something. The ball bouncing around, she's always the first one there to keep hold of possession for her side. She manages to find the Argentina foot. Tremendous work from the Great Britain striker. Now, Cullen gave Great Britain the lead five minutes ago at the start of the second half. And she's doubled the lead, Krista Cullen. She's down in a heap of pain in the center of the circle. Alex Danson indicated to the bench that this could be trouble for Krista Cullen. A flick flew goalwards. Her second and Britain's second, but has it come with a penalty? Will it be tarnished by Krista Cullen leaving the field of play? And what does that mean? Oh, the great British star. And her Olympic hopes in a few months' time. She limps off. It looks like it's going to be her ankle. Now, she is a warrior, Krista Cullen. I'm sure she'll be doing all she can to get back on the pitch. Not only today, if not today, sorry. And certainly in the weeks leading up to the London Olympics. As the camera follows her. Real concern for Great Britain. They'll be happy. To have Taking the lead here in London. Well, doubled their lead, sorry. Krista Curran gave them the lead five minutes ago. But what cost has it come at? As the number one runner collided with Cullen. She powered her flick towards the Argentina goal and into the net as Argentina start to power their way forward now. Kate Walsh, in the absence of her centre back partner, doing a terrific job. To disrupt an Argentinian attack, helped out by the likes of Twig and McLeod. Here is White. Now she's got space to run, White. There's Sarah Thomas has it all turned over in midfield, and Martina Abif will work it down the right hand side for Argentina. Dunsworth with a good low block. Ball powered forward to nobody in particular. Yes, that will be a concern of everyone in the stadium today and across the Great Britain hockey fan base. Will Krista Cullen come back today and how bad is that injury she sustained, doubling Great Britain's lead? I'm sure Danny Kerry will have the physios 
working on her as we speak as Argentina continue here. The players still on the pitch have a job to do. Kate Walsh, Great Britain captain, leading them clear and continuing her run forward. Walsh, lovely link up play between White, Walsh, and Bartlett. Still going, Susie Bartlett. Sorry, Laura Bartlett. Nicola White loves a chance to carry the ball as so many of these great Britain forwards do. Likes of Laura Bartlett, Nicola White, Alex Dancer. It's a really dangerous looking forward line. Good great Britain going into this summer. If they can back that up with the resilient wall in defence has been ever present in this invitational tournament and leaves them in a pretty decent position to go as far as possible in the tournament disappointed in Beijing finishing sixth wanting to get more from this home Olympics what a fantastic opportunity for them Richardson trying to play the ball forward to Susie Gilbert Laura Bartlett, back to Twig, Unsworth. Ball powered in low, Danson with the shot. Well saved. By right, Laura Decolle again, Alex Danson on that reverse stick. She loves those opportunities on the Tomahawk. And she connected well, only to be denied by the Argentina goalkeeper. Nice aerial ball forward. Argentina. Trying to mount an attack on this Great Britain circle and goal. Beth Story in the Great Britain has had very little to do actually in the whole game. She's been brilliant all tournament. A massive reason why Great Britain are yet to concede. Quiet afternoon. That's what she'll want. Great Britain goalkeeper. She'll want the job to be done in front of her. As it is been has been so far. Walsh. Long ball forward, only finding an Argentina stick. Martina Abif under pressure from Richardson. Just about doing enough to get back Abif to disrupt the Great Britain midfielder. And winning the free hitch. That's done really well there, Habif. Under pressure from the experienced Great Britain player. Speaking of experience, Kate Walsh. Showing all her class and experience there to get back and be in the right place at the right time for her country and her side. Unsworth, with a slight touch, just deflecting the ball away. And Argentina, so well known for their fast flowing, skillful hockey, have had to resort in most today to hitting the ball, hopefully towards the Great Britain circle. These sort of plays that they just try to put into action there as the ball boy takes a stumble in the pink riverbank turf. They haven't managed to get the passing hockey going. The absence of Luciana Aymar, a massive one. Seven time FIH Player of the Year. And when she isn't part of your squad, the attacking hockey is always going to take a hit. Scaroni shown the yellow card. Further woe. Heaped on Argentina, they trail 2-0. They'll be without one of their outfield players for the next five minutes. Though, so, managed to open up Great Britain somewhat. Can they create an opportunity with only 10 players on the pitch? Lovely hands. The reverse stick though, floats high and wide. Carla Rebecci. Trying to do everything she can for her side. 
She struck the post just a few minutes after Krista Cullen scored the opening goal of the afternoon. If that had gone in, maybe Argentina would have been able to rally somewhat. But at the moment, they find themselves trailing 2 0, down to 10. It's going to be a long way back for all the 2010 World Cup winners. Far from world champions, I must say, this afternoon. Forward, nicely picked up. And once more, Great Britain just doing all they can to stop the ball getting played into the circle. Giving away free hits in these sort of positions, quite happy with. You can see when they're stuck in those corners, it's extremely difficult for the attacking side to work their way into the D. <laughs> Sophia Makali. And do all she can to disrupt. Kate Walsh's thought process. Laura Bartlett towards goal. Dev Colley wants more away for the Argentines. Space opening up for Great Britain now. And McLeod just can't bring it under control. Bartlett. Trying to win the ball back for Great Britain. They're trying to apply pressure high up the pitch. Just can't fall. Oh, Natalie Seymour. And you see there, Delea. She passed the ball back, clearly showing her frustration as she's given the ball away, Delea. And a McLeod. Not quite on the same wavelength as Bartlett. Frustration evident in the world champions. Down the left hand side. Nice. Beginnings of something good for Argentina. Quickly quashed by Great Britain. Sarah Thomas. She's all on her own. Thomas tries to take on the Argentina defence single handedly. Let's try and trap Argentina in that corner. Danson thinks she's won the free hit, and I must say, I thought that did hit the Argentina foot. Will be a free hit. We must lay on us, and that just sums up their afternoon, really. A ball that should be easily brought under control, not. Britain able to outlet through Walsh in the absence of Krista Cullen. Great Britain's main outlet in. Managed to steal their way forward quite nicely, Great Britain. Seymour. Thomas, Sarah, Sarah Thomas, powerful run up against the Argentina captain, Rebecci, did really well, Rebecci, Sarah Thomas, a fair bit of momentum going forward. Danson. Well, to pick up on the miscontrolled pass. Well, and Danson seems to be in a significant degree of pain over on the far side. She's clutching her shoulder. Now, uh, Krista Cullen went off injured a few minutes ago. Alex Danson is not going to be able to play on here. Looks on the verge of tears, Alex Danson. There's a heavy collision with the Argentina player. A two star. Goal scorers, Krista Cullen and Alex Danson, could potentially both receive significant injuries. Danson is in tears. It looks to be that left shoulder. She's not going to co continue. The Riverbank Arena falls silent. And now gives Alex Danson a rousing round of applause. Their appreciation for the striker. They really are 
can only imagine the emotions going through those fans, the emotions going through Alex Danson right now. With the thought of a summer home Olympics at the forefront of everyone's mind. What they don't want to see is injuries in this invitational tournament. Though, despite, and despite the fact they do lead in the final 2-0, big injuries possibly to two huge players in this Great Britain side. Krista Cullen went off, hobbled off with an ankle injury. Now Alex Danson goes off clutching her shoulder in tears. You can see he's just there, left of shot. Sat getting some physio attention. At what cost could victory today come at? Though victory far from assured. Argentina, world champions, defeated Great Britain in the Champions Trophy final in February. Not a team to be written off with about 17 minutes to go. Forward they come. Did that hit the foot of Walsh? It did. And it will be another penalty corner to Argentina. I believe their seventh of the game. It could be a double blow for Great Britain. They've just seen their star striker go off. And could they see their lead halved here from the penalty corner? Now maybe a chance for Beth Story to see, to show, sorry, what she's all about. Rebecci has been the go-to for Argentina. She struck the post. She struck the number one runner, Emily Maguire, twice already. Not sure if, if Maguire is back there for Great Britain. On this occasion, it is Rebecci. No, set play. Slip to the left and scrappy. Rebecci forward and she struck another Great Britain player. I think it's Unsworth. And McLeod stay down. Nope. It's Helen Richardson. He's having to run off that blow. I bet she was quick to turn around. She wasn't showing any sympathy, the Argentina captain. She has a job to do herself. It's a slip left again. I think that was probably what they were trying to set up the corner before. Again, it comes to nothing. And for the eighth time this afternoon, the Great Britain defence from the penalty corner holds strong. And the defence has held strong all tournament. No team has been able to break them down as the chance comes, flashes across goal. Josefina Soroga lashed the ball towards Best Story's goal. It fizzed past the far post. Pressure coming from Argentina. They sense an opportunity. They have to take one sooner or later. Terrific work in defence again from Great Britain. Walsh. Lovely hand from Kate Walsh. Great carry as well. That is. Brilliant and quite rightly, the crowd applauding the efforts of the Great Britain captain. To sense the pressure coming from Argentina. They sense they need to get back in the game with a goal. She is really showing her composure and her leadership. Kate Walsh. Over 280 caps for her country, leading the way. Sarah Thomas, another one with over 100 caps in this experienced Great Britain side. What's she got up her sleeve here? Thomas. No, the ball did not travel five. And Argentina will get the free hit. So we approach the final 10 minutes of the final. 
in the Visa Invitational International Tournament. This test event for the 2012 Summer Olympics. It's going really well for the soon-to-be hosts of the Olympic Games, Great Britain. Emily Maguire. Dispossessed, though. Martina into the circle. This side, Beth Story has to get a foot in the way of the shot. Somewhat unconvincing from the Great Britain number one that she did enough to deflect the ball away from her goal. She allows this one to roll harmlessly through. You can see there Kate Walsh is picking up the ball. Stopping the play and just making sure she's commanding the attention of her whole team and instructing everyone to play their game, play Great Britain's game. And she's turned over the ball. And here come Argentina, and it's their captain. Rebecchi up against Story, and Beth Story does fantastic. She really does. Beth Story out to smother the ball. Carlo Rebecchi has been Argentina's source. Of attacking flair. Denied by Beth Story, Great Britain's number one in goal. She has been brilliant this afternoon. Carla Rebecchi. And the only thing missing from her play is the all-important final finish. She struck the post and that chance she really would have hoped to have done better. Never really got the shot away. As I said, smothered by Beth Story out quickly. Walsh elected to carry the ball up and through the Argentina press. And it's a part like the Red Sea somewhat. Unsworth playing fullback now in place of Krista Cullen. And Twig filling in there as well as Kate Walsh. Finds herself further up the pitch. Here is Walsh in centre midfield. Not where she wants to be, the Great Britain captain. Soroga forward to Mokia. Unsworth. Well across and does a good job to deny the Argentina player causing any more danger. Marino trying to work the space. And again, Argentina finds themselves trapped in this top corner of the pitch with the chance to escape there and instead they play it back in and the shot again from Rebecchi wide of the target Great Britain holding on at the moment getting forced deeper and deeper Argentina pressure becoming more desperate and chase her way back into this game. Can Great Britain find a way to play the way out of trouble? Danny Kerry always says, find a way to win. Find a way to get through the period where the other team is dominating. Can Great Britain heed their coach's words? Delfina Marino can't on this occasion make any inroads through the Great Britain defence. Georgie Twig, lovely hands from the 21 year old. Kate Walsh quickly across to take the free hit. She's taking every single free hit, the Britain captain. Taking control of the situation, taking responsibility. Unsworth. Back to her captain, Walsh. Poor ball forward, really. From Kate Walsh, turned over by Argentina. Rebecchi. And the free hit on the dotted line. Five metres out of the Great Britain circle. Played in by Delia. Great Britain win the free hit. Dangerous play. And time will be stopped. Daniela Soroga. Just struck by that ball and seems to be winded, I think. Might have a bruise in the morning. Collides with Unsworth. Again, Walsh taking control. 
And playing the ball forward to Rogers. Lovely touch from Rogers. Richardson. White. Is this the chance for Great Britain? White swing and a miss. Play on, says the umpire. Richardson trying to work some space for herself. He was even blocked by her own player on the line. The ball wasn't going towards goal with any real power. I think it was Laura Bartlett. Tried to control Lansing ball. It just struck her foot. Better though from Great Britain. They got to keep playing. Argentina. Just hasn't been their afternoon really. Epitomised there as they try to play their way out from the back. Miscontrol at right half. And Great Britain have the ball again. Seymour. Work her way up the pitch and take the sideline ball. Poor touch from Unsworth. And a pressure in midfield. And quite lucky, I think, to get the free hit. Seymour. Way to Bartlett. Is this a chance for Great Britain to put the game to bed? Richardson. Ball bouncing around. It doesn't fall for a Great Britain stick. Calm defensive work. While Argentina managing to find the GB foot. And then just as they've worked so hard to win the ball back. Poor ball forward gives up possession. Bartlett. Someone laughing at the challenge that she received. Was a heavy one. And Laura Bartlett. Reading midfielder. One of a number of Reading players in this Great Britain side. We're all on the same team now though. Here she is, Bartlett. As well. Bartlett again. Play on, says the umpire. Argentina. Well, they're running out of time. Nice work on the floor. Here is their captain, Rebecchi. Goal in the opening game against China. That was Argentina's last goal of the tournament three games ago. And Rebecchi showing her frustrations there. The ball never fell for her. Emily Maguire did really well to get across and defend. Rebecchi just swings through the Great Britain player. Well turned over. Soroga onto her reverse stick. Great work. Kate Walsh, that is superb. Beth Story in the Britain net. Applauds her captain's play. Never gave up there. Never stopped doing her defensive duties, Kate Walsh. Daniela Soroga, two goals against China a few days ago, bearing down on the Great Britain net. And Kate Walsh was there to stop her in her tracks. And with that, I think Argentina's hopes slowly slipping away. Walsh slides the ball up to Seymour. It's not quite the connection that Britain wanted. They won't be 100% happy with their performance this week. Just the one goal against South Korea. They'd have expected more out of that game. And today it's not quite worked out for them, though. They do find themselves, of course, leading the world champions 2-0. If you can't crack a smile at that, well... Still plenty to work on in the build up to the home games. Squad announcement coming out on the 18th of May, 12 days' time. And plenty of nervous players looking at their phones, checking their emails, looking for updates. I'm sure they'll have meetings beforehand and They'll know way before the official announcement whether they are in that squad. Richardson will certainly be one of those players. She forces a good save by Decole. That really could have put the game to bed. Helen Richardson, I think she'll be disappointed. She didn't find the back of the net. Powerful shot. Well saved. Oh, Del Cole in the Argentina net. 
finds herself in goal despite the far more capped Belen Suchi being part of this international invitational squad a few days ago Belen Suchi announced that she was pregnant congratulations to her Walsh there's a little one two in midfield we'll take control of this sideline ball again just laying it off into midfield Helen Richardson fantastic work down the right hand side by Richardson just gliding through the challenges and they're killing the clock here Great Britain not taking a sweet time Take these free hits on the side. Doing a fantastic job of killing the game. Suffocating all hope from Argentina. Off the flag in the corner. Play on, says the umpire. Richardson will do. It's a foot. Some perplexion on the face of Helen Richardson. One minute on our clock. There is enough time in hockey. By the way, it's going for Great Britain in their defence and Argentina's attack in this tournament. I'd suggest it might just be impossible for Les Leonas. Hey. Can they want mount one final attack forward? No, Hannah McLeod does enough to break it up. We're into the final minute on the galvanised hockey clock. Bouncing ball across to Delfina Merino. Unable to bring it under control. <laughs> She's gone from one side of the pitch to the other. Kate Walsh taking all the free hits on the right. Now over onto the left. Hannah McLeod. The countdown has begun in the Riverbank Arena. Full time, Great Britain have beaten the world champions 2-0. They finished the tournament as champions of the Visa International Invitational, having not conceded a single goal over the four games. Two Krista Cullen goals in quick succession have given Britain the victory today. The concern will certainly be for Krista Cullen and Alex Danson who went off injured. Beth Story, smile across her face, four clean sheets for her. Emily Maguire, one of many brave British defenders, putting their bodies on the line today and there. It's the concern for Great Britain, Alex Danson. Not a smile on her face. She holds her shoulder. We really do hope that her and Krista Cullen will be back fit for this summer. Kate Walsh receives the trophy for the Visa International Invitational Tournament. Great Britain champions. 2 0 in the final against Argentina, just a few months away from that glorious opportunity of a home Olympic Games. The crowd here at the Riverbank Arena enjoying the Great Britain victory. A few spilling out, the most remaining for the ceremony. Krista Cullen there on crutches, cracking a smile. Alex Danson not present. No goals conceded throughout the whole tournament. By far the best team, Great Britain, champions of the Visa Invitational International Tournament. Thank you for joining us here with Galvanised Hockey. We'll see you again soon.